record you guys. Okay, so thanks for coming. My name is Nancy Olson. This is going to be 45 minutes of Met Mix, which is a combination of strength and cardio weight work. Make sure you have a mat and a towel, please, and some water off to the side. We're definitely going to need our water today because I'm going to work you guys extra, extra hard. I'm totally kidding. It won't be extra hard. I just had to find something to say. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going to hit the music. And again, I'll definitely be showing you guys modifications along the way. So please don't feel there's anything that would be too challenging for you because it should be all user friendly. I like to teach that way. I'm huge into safety as well. So you can hear me giving you all those cues. Okay. So make sure you have some space around you. We're going to start with a big old squat. Single counts, down and up. So you're going to push your hips back. And as you do that, we're just getting some stretch and strengthen into those quads. Hip flexors. So I want you to slow this down. You're going to give me a big inhale with those arms all the way up over the head. And then flatten your back for two. Round your spine. Let's do that again. Reach up tall. Lengthen your spine. Flatten your back for two. Good. Let's roll it on up. One more time. Reach the top. And then flatten that back for two. Now I want you to give me a little bit of rotation. You're going to go right to left side. And I like this because it warms up your waist. And that's your core. Anything front, side, and back of your abdominals is called your core. So again, just get a little bit of heat to the core. Come back to those squats. Center, down, up. Squat, tap and back up. And sometimes you have days you don't feel like exercising. And those are the days that it's even better that you actually come and commit to it. Do more, so good for you guys doing that. Side to side. Unless you were saying, no, I was so excited to come and work out, which is even better. The motivation is key, that's huge, and that's where I come in. That's where I light the fire beneath you to get you going. You're gonna go into a lunge. Reach that arm across, one and one. So that warms up the adductor muscles, inner thighs, outer thighs. So let's come across to the chest. You got it. Now send those arms high and low for me. And what I'm doing here is just warming up my shoulders, deltoids. Getting ready to hold some weight. Now bring you to a little bit closer in for me, please. Good. Now I want you to send your right leg back as you step, and then send your left leg. And I'm warming up hip flexors. Good, reaching those arms up tall for four. Good, three. Now we're gonna take a lateral squat. Take the right arm to the side, left arm to the side. And in your warm up, we're increasing the cardio. We're increasing all the muscles, the ligaments that are attached, getting you ready. Now can you lunge to me? Send the arms up, right side, then the left side. That's great. Nice and long extensions for four. Good, three. Now I'm gonna have you squat center and then you're gonna circle the arm over the head. And your rotator cuff, that's the top of the shoulder, involves a lot of different muscles. And that's what we're warming up there. I'm gonna repeat all those combinations, but I'm gonna start on the opposite side. Step back left, step back right. Good, go there again. And push your hips to me. I want you to open up the flexors. Here comes that lateral squat. Left arm, left leg, and then we're gonna switch. Out and in. And your head and your chest always stay up. I'm gonna show you in properly with my head dropping down. Just elevate if you can. Lunge to me. Left leg, arms up, and then your right side. Chin tall, look good. So we're warming up front of your shoulder, your anterior delt. I'd like a little more chest work. So I'm gonna stop the legs and open up those elbows. Shoulder, back down. And that warms up the pecs, chest muscles. Good. For four, three, two, vertical. Arms straight on up. Yep, back down. Another one, but that's not you guys. That's the name of the song. A little bit of Queen. Four. Good. Three. Get ready. Right leg. Lunge back. Show me once. Squat to the side. Lunge to me on the right. Go squat to the right. Good. Lunge back on the right. So look at this swing that I'm doing here. One more. Now open up your feet. Drop down. Eight. Woo! One of the hips. 
Yep, yep. Now, if that's too deep for you, put your hands on the quads and just do a small little squat. You're going to get ready. Left leg, lunge back. Arms up, squat to the side for me. Lunge to me now and squat to the side. So all different angles that we're targeting right there, good, go wide. Step to me. Go wide. Find the floor. Tap down. Let's go. Can you bear crawl? Walk to me for four, three, one hit. So I'm going to pike up and then I'm going to come back to neutral. Do that again. Pike it. Come back a little quicker. We're going up and down for four. Yep. Three. Would I do a push up in the first five minutes? Yes. One, push up. One, pike. So what a push up does, it warms up all the chest muscles. Whether you're on your knees or straight legs. Yeah. Whoo. Down and up. Two more to go. Low. Last one, guys. Walk your hands all the way in. I want you to come on up and grab a pair of weights. So we're going to do both body weight training today as well as weights. Now I have six pounds. That's because that's what I have to have. If you have heavier weights, that's fine. I just want you to watch the amount of reps that you're going to do. So I just busted out a squat, and they're going to recognize that when they warm up. But I'm looking for more high repetitions in anything with your weight. So if you had a combination of having a choice of your lighter, I'd say go for the lighter. Down, back up. Again, head and chest. Stay on up while you're doing your squats. Right leg only. Step open for me. Out, back in. Woo! Step out in. I want you to watch my right arm. I'm going to start to drop it down, keeping my head and chest up. Down, back up. So you're on that one side. Four, three, two. Lunge to me. Push your arm up. Same side. Arm and leg. Push up tall. Yep. I'm going to combine it. Right leg. Squat it. Drop. Four. Hoop. Now, want you to lunge to me. Push that arm overhead. Push up. Back down. Good. Now, I'd like you to squat twice for me. Step down and up. Woo! Lunge to me twice. Step up. Here comes that squat twice. And this is what we call a unilateral move. We stand one side, fatiguing that muscle. Single. Squat and lunge. Do that again. Do not to worry, that left side's getting kind of lonely because it's not getting used. It will get its fair share, not to worry. Now come to a dead squat. Find your ankles, both arms. Set your shoulders out of your ears. I'm going to turn to the side, see where I'm at. Small, decreasing your range, keeping it tight for eight, uh, seven. If it gets too much, isometrically hold it. You don't have to do those small pulses. I'm going to revisit what we just did. Right leg squat. Show me a bicep. Lunge to me. Yep. Same. Height. Squat down and reach. Good. Squat down. You've got one more. Dead squat. Find your ankle. Yeah. Woo. Staying low. Keep that going. Eight. Six. Now weights on the quad. Watch. Vertical line up. You're going to push up and then down. Now I know we did some squats. We did some lunges on the right. I'd like to also add some knee work. So I'd like you to bring the right leg up, down. That's your quad. Activating the whole front of that leg. Whoop. Back down. Watch. Outer thigh. Leg extends. Out, in. I'm still on that same side. Yep. Come on. Two knees, please. That's right. I'm talking to you. Out of sight twice. Woo. Here comes that knee. Pick it up. Here comes that outer side. Oh. One, one. Alternate. Knee and outer. So your heart rate should be up right now. Yep. Two more. Woo, 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 woo. Last one, outer side, find a dead squat, weight, right down low, guess what, weight down, 
one weight. Never on a way. From here, you're going to bear crawl to me. Right side specific. Right, left. Watch the right arm. I want you to reach up. Tap down. So I'm pulling on my right side. What's going to be tough for me is remember everything on the opposite side. We'll get there when we get there. One more. Push up. One time. Right arm up, guys. Push up one. Right arm up. Woo! You got it. Woo! Open it up. Last one. Shoulder tap. Start on the right. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Look straight, guys. Four more. Three. Two. Remember the pike I had to do. One time up. Then it's to push up or hold. Now you've heard me say before, if you had to pick one exercise that works so many muscle groups, it's actually a push up. So when you're kind of not liking them too much, think about the benefit they're doing. And that pike is nice because it gives you a breather. Take the breather and then you take the work. Yeah. This is your last one. Walk your hand back in for me. I want you to reach. Feel into legs. And take your time getting up there. I'll wait for you. Woo! High low. Woo hoo woo hoo. You got it. Eight. And this is just a straight vertical line. And I'm just trying to get your heart rate up on these. You've got four. I want you to come a little bit closer to the weight. And they're going to slow come down. Get a weight in each hand. I'd like you to bring it up slow. And then just touch the floor. Can you do that again? All the way up. Okay, you're going to recognize it. Left leg squat. Show me that bicep. Step together. So now I switch sides. Let's see how my memory goes. One, the arm comes up for four, three. Good. Straight on up. Squat for me. Down up. Woo. So I'm pulling in as I'm stepping open. Here comes out. And I'm just pairing two different muscle groups back to back. Deltoids with your shoulder and bicep. Up open for four, three, two, and that again, unilateral, but we've changed sides. Press. Looks great. Here come the doubles. Two for two. Woo! Lunge for me twice. Press. Good, here's that squat, please. And then you lunge to me. So a little bit of manic Monday. Luckily, it's not Monday. A little bit of bangles. Singing at ya. Woo! We're going again, two for two. Now you lunge to me. Here comes that first, we're gonna single. One squat, lunge to me. Open it up. And maybe increase range when you feel comfortable there. Find a dead squat, double time. Eight. Now I'm gonna capitalize on him being down here by drawing your elbows in. This is called reciprocation tricep kickback. So one arm at a time, my pinky goes behind and look how my elbow is locked in. Sometimes we see this, this is improper. I want to tuck it in, lock it for eight. Six. Now, can you give me both arms together? Try to kick back through that reciprocation. Can you angle? Open it up. And just this can involve a little more of that rear delt. Tricep. First combination. Squat. Left arm and left. Four. Three. Now lunge to me. Push all the way up. Whew. And working in ladder is a great way to decrease imbalances in the body. Two sides. Open because you're strengthening one side while the other side has to stabilize. Squat for me twice. Step. Here comes that lunge. All right, guys. Number is one. Single one. Squat. Step to me. Good. Stay low. And press. One more. Three. Now I'm going to go back to that dead squat. Double tight there. The weight goes down. Why is that? Left arm. 
Walk to me, please. Left, left, overhead when you're okay. Lift and tap. Left side only. Woo! High and low. Up. And look how that one arm has to stabilize and keeps your body weight in check. So good for you to do on your core. Can you add one push up down? Arm up. Oh, that's hard. One down. Remember, isometric. If you need to, take out a couple reps. This is our last one. Walk your hands back on in. Okay. Grab your weight. I'm going to give you time. Slowly bring it up. Bring it all the way down. And we will call that transitional strength, where you're having to go from one exercise to the other, and you need to have that strength. Like in any day activity, getting something off the ground, quickly having to rotate, that kind of stuff. Watch. Legs to ceiling, show me the quick. I'm going to go back to that left leg, got my knees in the mix. Four times up. Woo! Good. Three. Same leg, guys. Outer thigh. That's your abductor. That's your outer leg. Stand and squat. Yeah. Can we go doubles on the knees? Here comes your outer thigh. Knees exchanges. Fly. Single one. Let's go. Outer. Breathe. Now, you guys know the way I teach, the way I train is back to back stuff. Anytime you need a drink of water, I'd like you to take one. Stay down. Double time squat. Woo! Just a little head clear right there. That's what? Left. Squat for me. Lunge for me. Squat. Yes. Lunge. Do you recognize it? Show me your kickback. Eight. I'm going to give you some slack and not make you do those push-ups. Not make you not ask you for eight. Good. Six. What we are going to do is back to the knees. Knee up. Left outer thigh. Good, go there again. And the whole time, your abdominal is pulled in. The core is wicked tight. One more. Stay down, double time. Weight's on. Watch, slow, back, out, in. Now if pass is not for you, then you go just to one leg at a time. I want you to watch both feet, watch my right, watch my left. Down, back up. Woo! Yeah. Down, up, head and chest. They're up. You got it. Can you do eight more? Eight, seven, six, five. If I need one leg at a time, find your zone, guys. Step to change. Both arms drop. Watch. Look, I'm starting to increase my range with my weight. Down. Four. It's going to get a little nasty. How's that? Overhead. Push. Now you go down. Now you go up. Now you go down. Woohoo! Remember, anytime you change your legs, you're the driver, you tell the body what to do. Whip. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, stay down. One weight, please. Find your one weight. Right arm. Watch my catch. Shoulder. So I am heavy breathing a little bit. If I am, I hope you are. I'm going to catch and drive. Watch the weight. Press up. Back down. It's a four-part combo. This is one. That's two. Flip three, return four. What am I going to add? How about a jack? Seriously? Yes. Seriously. Again. One. One. Remember, keep it wide if you need. You don't have to jack. One more. Woo! Both hands on it. Show me your weight. Swing to each side. Up, down. Yeah. Woo! Back down. Look where I come. Right to the midline. Lift and lower. Up. Down. Drive your hip, guys. Drive it. Seven. All to the side of the waist. 
Once you've got four, three, two, here's that squat with a weight. This is going to go down, start to flip. So my transition, I go to my left arm. Whip. Okay, then I usually put my other hand on my leg to support my low back. So she has a little bit more space, a bit safer. Get ready to add on. Overhead, guys. Remember, it's four. Lift, lower, down, back up. Push. Come down. Yeah. Looks good. Again, if that's too much, stay away from going over the head. That's automatically heart rate up. So the same arm, I'm going to add that jack. So feet come together. One, 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 one. You got it. You're up. You're down. Yep. Now here comes that swing to the left and then swing to the right. Drive your hip across. Woo! Yeah. Again. Drive it. Two more. Now that same slow jack, but watch. One arm's going to go at a time. I'm going to flip. Right side, left side. So notice each hand goes down, back up. If I need, take out the impact. Remember, find it. Eight, seven, four, five, four, three, two. Swing to the right, please, one time. Now, squat down and tap. Swing to your left side. Push, and I should have winded up. Push across, go there again. Remember the jack, let's start off. Down first, and then you're up. Down, Woo. Four more, yep, two more. That swing comes into play. Swing to your right, jack down up. Swing left, jack down up. Swing right. Open. This is your last one. Okay, guys. A weight in each hand, please. Position it by your shoulders. This is a single squat. Down, back up. Now, I'd like you to walk towards me. Walking squat. Right, left. Right, left. Both arms crank up. Twice. Back up on the right leg for four. Hit those arms twice. Strong press. Now left leg walks to me. Four. Three. Here come those arms, guys. Jam it. Back up on the left leg for four. What do you think I'm going to add that looks similar to what we did before? Walking squat to me. That's a little bit says maybe a jack. Up, down. Up. Walk back on the right for four. Say, I don't want a jack. What can I do instead? Just use your legs. Left leg to me. Left. Or arm at a time. Jack one or two. Back up on the left side for four. Three. Jack one or two. Now watch. Hold up. Tricep. Oh, man. While you're in the tricep, can you bring me up a right knee and then a left knee? down. So you're working away from the leg. And I'm purposely doing that because the abdominals have to kick in as well as stabilization. Two things are working there. Yep. Watch the difference. Pull down into it now. I like you to be mindful of the exercise and you can physically feel when you change up like that. This should be easier to you. Now let's try the reverse again. Go behind in the try. Switch sides. Down. Up. You got it. For four. Three. Two. Come back in front. Slow. That's the operative word, is slow. Why? Speed. Quicker. Go. Right. Left. Now, if I were to come along and punch in the stomach right now, that's the contraction I want to have. Tighten up your core. Right. Left. Ugh. 
You're gonna feel your shoulders. Talk to you a little bit. A little bit of smack. Open your arms. I'm still here. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Come back in the center. Now that's easy when the hands are together. We're gonna pull down. Right, left, step, touch. Woo! Watch your combo. Go up and tricep. Ugh. Swing it in front. Again. Up. We're going to feel that pull down. Front delt. Anterior, rear delt. Anterior. Up. We've got two more to go. And I'd like the lateral portion to feel it as well. So what I'm going to do is add a lat pull, down and up. Drop. Knees, knees, knees. Now this is like rubbing your head and patting your stomach. Not to worry. I'm going to change it up to make it a little bit easier. Now I want to slow this down. Right side, then your left. Breathe. Oxygen supplies it. Pull. Down. Up. Two more. Can you give me some speed, but bring it in front. Bring it in front. Eight. Six. Four. Three, slow down, lap pull, right knee. Yeah, left knee, brutal. Hold your arms out, step touch, left to right. Show me your biceps. So hard, if you need, watch what I do. I bring my elbow next to my body. The minute I distance, it's much harder. So always feel free to go to that. Overhead, two times, woo! I step twice. Doing great. Overhead twice. One, one. Curl it. Curl in and out. You've got two more to go. Yep. Good. Last one. Change is coming. Weights on quads. Double time squat. Now let's walk. Two times to your right, please. Come on back. Remember that slow jack we did. Double bounce if you can. Out in. Now let's travel to the left. Walk off. Woo! Jack, double bounce. Only two of them. Now walk to your right, please. Come back. Jack, double bounce. You can see that combination I'm doing. Opposite side walk. Come back. Jack, double bounce. Change coming. Arms overhead once. Slow jack once. So I purposely did that to add a little bit of a body. Woo! Yep. And down. Looks good. Lift and lower. You've got two more. Big extension. Then I'm going to go back to that traveling combination. Two times to your right. Woo! This is different. Watch my skate. I'm going to drop down. So now I'm going a bit more aggressive with the cardio. Yep. Four and more. Change it on up. Hammer curl. Clean and press. Catch. Drive. There's that little bit of a catch. And look at that flip. So it's one, two, three, one more. Lateral walk. We're going to go to your left side, please. The skate starts on the right. Drop down. Woo! Come on, come on. You've got eight, six, four, Feet wide, check me. Upper cry, overhead press. So that's the clean and press with an upright row. Again, catch, drive. One more, leave your weight. Watch my punches. Right, left, woo! So what I did there, we busted a little bit of a cardio piece. Watch my legs. Up, down, up. Up, down, up. Four, three, Tap the floor eight times. Woo! Get ready. Those weights down there, they got your name on them. I want you to grab when you're okay. It's that hammer press. Now, what's the hammer curl? That means my thumb is tight. Come in the middle. Looks good, guys. Again, if it's a couple seconds to get there, that's okay. I just went right into it. Watch. The weight goes down, the left arm starts. Punch it. Up, down, up. So your body needs some surprises. 
can't do the same stuff all the time. So a little bit of that is good for you to do. Come back down, tap the ground. Woo! Weights are there again. Name is on them. This time, take a little bit slower. Then I want you to flip it. Going to go back over the head and then come all the way down. Now we add that speed. Watch. Back down. Woo! So it's a strong upright row. Catch. I had to punch right. I had to punch left. Leave your weight. Circle. Jump. Woo! High and low. So we warmed up our rotators. That was the top of the shoulder. That's exactly what you're using here. I can stay grounded. I can stay smaller on my leg. I need eight, whatever you're gonna give me. Seven, six. Give me some air time, whatever you choose. Four more, three more. Right arm only, grab your weight. Right arm. Do it again, right arm. With the right arm comes the left outer thigh. Oh yeah. Going again, left leg. Outer. That's hard. That balance, that flow, it is. So I'm going to make it a little bit easier. Single, stop with your shoulder. Out and in without stopping. This side, change it up. So now it's going to be on my right leg and my left arm. Woo! High, low. Four, three, but I want to what we did. So let's slow that down. Go all the way to the floor and then bring that leg to the side. Going again. Press. Up. Two. One more. Okay, guys. Back to the quick single. Halfway. Nice job. We're going to go back to the first side. Four times if you can. And start to really lean to the side this time. I'm going to switch again for four. You open, close. One, one. Each side opens. Yip and down. Whew. Now you can stay here, or if you're feeling that Happy New Year that's coming, jack, he's gone. Up, down. You extend. Whether I stay in place or I jack. Whew. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, weight down, get ready, I'd like that bear fall, four, now I want you to pretend you're going to wave at me, reach your right left arm, and this is a front raise that strengthens this anterior of your shoulder, now take that same arm, go out wide, lateral fly, Woo. Same arm, elbow to rib, pull it in for four. I started with you a pike push-up combo. I'd like to see that, please. Pike up, one push-up. Knees or toes. Two more, pull back. Good, this is your last one. Now the front raise starts on the left side. Good. We're gonna go four in total. Now let's go for lateral out to the side for four. And look at that handprint. Comes right under your shoulder joint. Draw your elbow to ribs. Four. Three. I know you didn't know this combo. Pike your hips up first. That's your friend. And then the push-up. Maybe not so much of a friend. Combo. Right arm, front raise. Right arm, lateral. Right elbow in. One push-up. Left arm, combo, front, lateral, elbow to rib, push up, right arm forward, lateral, elbow can. I am working you guys, push up. This is your last round, but this is a good round because your friend, your pike is coming back. Pike up, hold it, stay right there, bend your knees, walk your hands in. I'd like you to find both weights this time. Keeping your glutes low, drop your hips down. What are we doing down here? You're strengthening your glutes, you're strengthening your back, strengthening your hips. Watch my elbows, they're gonna come in front, and I'm gonna alternate. Up and down, 
And if that's uncomfortable, come up a little bit higher. So I'm doing over, underhand grip, bicep, find up the muscle. Start to come on up. You're gonna still curl for me. And I'd like it at a lunge, right to left. Right? Can you go the range all the way down up? Let your arm extend straight. That's how I want you to open up the muscle. Four, three, without stopping. We're gonna go over to the side, take a turn. So I'm gonna let my back heel come up. I'm gonna go down, back up. Up, so it's a curl. Yes. Same arm, same leg. Crouch, drop down, and row. Back up. Can you add that leg in on the row? Step, row. And that's called compound exercise. Doing two muscle group back to back. And I like to train like that. Get more bang for your buck. Get things move quicker. For four, three. Now hold this last one right there. Watch the kick back. I'm on the balls of the feet. Push back, front. Isolation, that pinky goes way behind. Four, three, two, combine it. One lunge and oh, and then one kick back. Lunge, row, down, up, out in. So that weight that's on the other side, you should be feeling that as well. That's your stabilizer. Got all the muscles working. Woo! Again, down, last one, and I want you to face me, five steps, remember the lunges. So what I did there was work in opposition, we had biceps, triceps, all the way down with those arms, now without stopping, that learn, that lunge for me, watch the back leg, down up. So rather than round forward, I want you to be nice and tall, pressing your front heel down without stopping. Take that arm down. Now you are gonna round because you're going down into a lunge. Yeah, back up. Woo! Get ready, that leg stank to not come alone. And now we're gonna take that lunge. Step, lunge. Step, lunge. This is why I wanted you to have more of a lighter weight. The amount of reps that we're doing, I wouldn't be comfortable with you having a big old weight. Got eight, seven, six, five. Okay, this one we hold, watch the kick back. So see I'm up on the ball of my foot? I want you to elevate as well. It transfers weight forward to make sure you're getting that glute. We're gonna combine the two moves. Reverse lunge, reach down, and then you kick back. Down again. Remember that cue I gave you before, where you pin the elbow into the body? Think about Velcroing it in. So going, we step down, up. Woo hoo! Your glutes should be starting to talk to you. Two more. Ugh. Last one. Face me. Biceps. That was tough. I'm laughing because but if I feel it a lot, then you guys must as well. Yes. Okay, open up your toes for me. I'm gonna stay centered. I know a lot of people deal with some rotator cuff issues, which is that tap go right on the top of the shoulder. What I'd like to do is to help to strengthen that. So I'm going to start to minimize the move here. Pin the elbow in, and now watch, rotation. We're going to go out, in. And that's your rotation, right on the top there. No distance between your elbows and your waist. Adding on, watch curl, squat, then the rotator. Going again. Now my floor is a little bit slippery, you might have to reposition your feet. Again, down, up, keep those going. We've got two more rounds. 
Good, last one. Okay, the weight goes on the floor. Bend your knees, walk to me please. Four, three, hike your hips up, not what you guys think. I want you to come away from the weight. Get ready, I'm gonna ask you to actually crawl please. Crawl, one, one, back up, same thing. And as I joke around, where else would you be crawling? Unless you're in exercise class, right? But this is a thing we don't do on our own, but it's so good with all the muscles that it uses. Okay, watch the right leg. I'd like you to tap forward and back. Right leg, so that's a lunge. Tap. Can you do the left leg too? Same thing. Tap, front, back, front. So this is just body weight, as you can tell. Let's get two on the right side. Then it's two on the left side. Go there again, right side. Good, switch sides. So let the weight shift as when that foot comes forward as well. So this becomes a single. One right, one left. Eight. Good, seven. Six. Now I just looked at my watch and I realized I gotta start to wind it down a little bit. So let's get two more of these. So if I do it like a wide hop, out, in, eight, seven, nice, six, five. Remember the one leg. I can revert back to that if I need. Two more. Awesome, guys. Slowly roll it on in. Tuck your chin. Find your mat. Careful when you come up. We all have different resting heart rates, blood pressure. I want you to be careful. Okay, get your mat for me, please. So what you're going to do while you're back down here, I want you to crouch. Touch down. Good for four. Now walk your hands out. Just the upper body crawls this time. Can you give me a slow stand all the way up? Reach tall. And then I want you to give me that slow crawl again. For four. Good. Walk the body in. Now this time, after you do your slow reach up, I'd like you to take a seat on the mat. Okay, so we're gonna have just one weight with us. I want you to do a four-part combo. We're gonna roll, pull it above your head, and then you're gonna sit. So I want you to start with a little bit of a less intense move here, and that means I'm gonna keep my arms close. I can do this without a weight if I need. So I'm gonna make it a little more intense by my arms up. One. Two, three, press. Good. And I'm going to catch a bit of air along the way. And that's a good thing because that means I'm going to use a little more muscle with that momentum. Woo! One, two, down. Body needs to work at different speeds, ranges. Right now, it's a pretty big clip. Let's get two more. Throw back. Last one. Now stay up, watch the knee. I want you to pull down, back up. And in order for that knee to accommodate weight, you roll back. Pull up. Seven. Six. Now I don't like to overdo the hip flexors too much, especially if you're a runner or walker. Those get fatigued. Now watch, come halfway down and pull. The rotator cuff. We talked about that before. Watch the switch. I'm going to go up, down, up, down. Without stopping. Rotator. Elbows down. Now, right now, you are still nailing your stomach muscles in this position. Eight. Six. Now, you're going to come up a little bit higher. He's going to count on that guitar. Gets a little bit harder. So right now we're disengaging. Can you go back down and engage? Nice. Keeping it small. Four, three, show me that rotator again. All right, now this time we're gonna make a figure eight. Let's slow this down. Bigger arms, bigger. Now a little bit quicker and smaller again with that figure eight. For four, three, Two, roll all the way back forward. Bend your knees. 
push your hips up. You need that stretch. While you're in a bridge, arms come on up. Now drive each knee one at a time. That's going to be tricky. Good. Two more. Now while the hips are up, arms above the head slow. Now drive the knee just twice. One and two. Here come those arms slowly. And you're going to feel off balance. If you're suspending a weight above and you're trying to lift the leg as well, you bet you are. And that's the purpose of it, is to have that in city to create stability. Bring it up. Here comes the leg. Now this time, drop your hip. And then as you bring your arm in, I want you to add one leg. So extend, pull back. And I like this because you can isolate. If you want your head in the mix or not, you can be up here, crunch in, or keep your head down for four, three, two. Now come center, both our legs curl up. And this is where I switch opposite sides. Out in. Pull. Now if you know there's an end in sight, you're gonna work a little bit harder, right? You say, okay, if I have a few minutes left, I'm gonna push my body because I know there's an end in sight and I can be eating dinner, having a break, sitting on the couch, whatever you gotta do, right? Four more. Maybe someone's gonna make dinner for you. That would be nice. Okay, we're gonna take this slow. Both arms and legs. Now watch, I'm gonna go out straight. I'm gonna bring it all the way up. I'm gonna go back into elbows. All the way up straight. Same thing, slowly. Elbows come into knees. I extend them. I can do this with one leg as well. I don't have to go for double legs. But I am gonna add a little bit of speed if you can. So we're gonna curl in, out, and then press up. Yeah, we still have that weight in our hand. So if you want to lose it, that's fine. Now you're going to stay up and pulse. Push weight, eight, six, four. Bring one leg down. So that creates the shape of an L. Nice job, guys. Shoulder blades up, not just your arms. Both feet up. Think about that, not your arms, but actually activate your stomach by bringing your shoulder blades up. Opposite leg down. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Stay here. Push. Up. Back down. Oh, that is so hard. Go feet together now. Extend. Go up to your shoelace. Opposite leg. Without breaking. Four. Three. Hold this one. Put your weight carefully on the floor. You're still in an L. Your arms are here. Watch. Elbow, knee, twist. So that's too much. Then put your foot down. I like to give you different levels to work at. Both legs up. That's going to help the low back. When you're okay, opposite leg comes out. Oh. Bend your knee, please. See the difference it makes. It makes that low back a little happier. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, switch, leg. So now you don't know which is worse. <laughs> which side is worse? Woo! Eight, six. Now bring your knees 90, please. Check the change. Twist, twist. All right, so that music kicks in. Down. Deactivate hip flexors. Watch the chop. Again, it's about the side of the waist. The arm is secondary. You say, yeah, well, what about that end inside Nancy? You talk about it. Where is it? Yep. All right. My number out is med balls. Find it and throw it. Woo! They saw me walk my feet out. I like you too as well. Gives you counterbalance. Come on, come on. Woo! This is a good thing. I'm going to count you guys down. Number is going to start eight. Eight. Seven. Throw as hard as you can. Accelerate. Yep. Four. 
Three, two, reach and grab. Last round, eight, so there's no throw. Rotation, I like this one, you tuck it in. Too much, tuck it in down here. Stay lower. Okay, never say never. Last round. That's four, three, this is it guys. And you are done. Awesome job, hips up. Now I was debating about doing some tricep dips, but I thought, you know, I've over my welcome. And hopefully I might see you on Friday at 11.15. Thanks, Vila. Drop your hips. So that means that we're going to do some, maybe some tricep dips. Now, if nobody shows, I'll know that's because you're worried about the dip. Switch opposite. If it's core, your core has to kick in in order to do a dip. Knees to chest. <laughs> Touch in, please. Find one leg up. Hamstring stretch. Slide the bottom leg down. I'd like you to bend that top leg, and that's going to get that outer hip IT band. Standing leg work. Good. Let's switch off the side. And if you have a stretch you need to hold on to longer, I'd like you to do that. Pull your toes down a little more calf Achilles. Bottom leg straight. Top leg. Bring it across. Good. Bring it across. Okay. Come back to center. Abductors. Inner thighs. Think about those. Fold your feet towards each other. Press that low back down. Good. Draw your knees in. I want you to take a slow roll up. Heel to toe. Sit tall first. Second, you gently stretch. Low back hamstrings. Good. Let's switch opposite side. Stack it on up. Lift gently stretch for me. Okay. Let's swing those legs around, you guys. I am proud of you. You did great. Slowly support your body as you come on up. Take a slow roll, navel to backbone. Neutral spine, find your hamstrings. That means fingertips to floor, release your back. Walk your hands up the body, please. When you meet me at the top, big inhale, reach all the way up. Find your right wrist, lift up and out. Good, opposite side, across. Elbows behind the head, lean back, open up the chest. Good, I want you to now release, grab your right wrist, Traps. That's so important to stretch that. Good. Switch sides. Opposite. Come back to center. Inhale. Reach all the way up. I like how it stops automatically. I think it's coming back on. Awesome, you guys. I'm so proud of how great you did. We have so many different changes. Okay. I'm going to hit my stop button off.